So, I'm Kelsey. I'm Rebecca. Uh, we're two Girl Scouts, and we are here to talk about our Silver War project. So, basically, what we're doing is we're like helping kids who are bored in hospitals. Um, but not just the kids, because most people think about like the younger kids. We're talking about like the teens, because a lot of times they get overlooked. And if you don't want to watch this whole entire long video, you can go into the description below, and we'll have a shorter video that'll kind of like be super quick. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find a hospital. So we went to we went to like we went to uh well the first thing that we did was go we went to Google and we found. Uh, three different hospitals. We did find them more, but we found three near us that we felt like we'd want the most help. Yeah, and so basically you need to find a hospital because you need to have a place to donate, otherwise yeah. you're just gathering uh. stuff for no reason. Um, and then you need to email them. What we did was we were looking around on our hospital's website and we basically found like, who we needed to email to, like, find out where to donate, when to donate, like, all of those details that you need. Basically, we um, we just emailed the hospital itself, and then they kind of sent us to all sorts of different people that would help us, and eventually we came across the person that we needed to um, help us with this. So then we came up with a meet-up time, and we, um, uh... We came up with a meeting time, and then we all met up at the hospital, and we basically asked some questions, basically along the lines of um, asking what sort of things they would want, like what things that they need, and uh, we also asked for rules. So some things that they would want are, um, here you go, you can read this. <laughs> so, is, is there, um, so basically what they like is like, they like stuff like coloring books, colored pencils, like movies that are like in the package and stuff, like just stuff like that. Um, that's like kind of like stuff that they like. And then like in the winter they get a lot of blankets. <laughs> and they also, but they also have rules. So like, like what I said earlier, mm. movies, they need to be in like, <coughs> in their original packaging. Yeah, everything has to be in their original packaging. They're, like, we discovered that there can't be any scents. Uh, it has to stay non-toxic. Or else they can't have it. Yeah. No, it has to be in the original packaging, like you said a little bit ago. But also, same exact thing like she just said, or else they won't be able to take it. Yeah. And so... Things that she said. <laughs> then you need to make <coughs> some decisions. So you need to figure out what you're going to donate, because depending on the hospital, there's going to be a longer list of like what they need. You need to like kind of narrow it down, so you're not having like you're not going out asking people to donate a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. You're gonna like narrow it down to what you want to be donating to them. And so then once you ask that question, you kind of need to ask yourself how much is this going to cost, because that's a very important factor. Yeah, and figure out how much of each item you want to, because that will help with figuring out the cost. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, if like it, it can cost quite a lot. Um, but that kind of brings us to our next bullet point sort of thing. So donations and fundraisers. So we did a lot of like donation sort of thing. We did a lot of fundraisers more than donations. Yeah, for donations, basically, what you could do for donations, what we had originally thought but weren't able to do because we ran out of time, is that you could uh, create a flyer, which we did. Sadly, we don't really have it. We'll probably pop up a picture somewhere, like, right between our heads here. Yeah. Uh, what it would look like. And then... So... You can like get a box and you can go around with this flyer and this cardboard box and you can go to like a store. Mm -hmm. And so what you can do is like, hey, store, can I put this box of donations here? And if they say yes, then you do. And people can put like their donations in that box. 
You need to ask the manager, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to need to ask the manager and talk to the manager about that, but, mm -hmm. yeah. And then... So, for fundraisers, we... We did a we did a couple fundraisers. So Basically, uh, I I'm, I only remember one, so you can explain the second fundraiser. So uh, we basically created this thing where younger kids could go to this. Um, it's basically a princess party, as we had called it. Yeah. yeah, princess party. So we did a lot of different activities. So you could probably come up with some sort of fundraiser where you can basically have people buy tickets. I guess you could say for like an event that you do. Yeah, for an event that you're doing. Yeah. And so you can explain the other event. So basically, for some more fundraising, what we did, and this is a good idea um, for a lot of people who like live near like neighborhoods who do like those like farmers market sort of things. So we went to farmers markets, and basically what we did is we had uh, sold like stuff that we made, and. That's how we got a lot of the money for like, like getting the stuff. And so things to make, like you can you can make anything for these farmers markets. We're gonna be making a separate video in the future though on uh, different things I can create. But we made things like cat ears, a little paper flowers, which I think were adorable. <laughs> and there's a bunch of other things as well. Yeah, but like once you've done all of these fundraisers, donations, that sort of stuff. You need to kind of like count your numbers. You need to figure out like how much you got. So like, say you got ten earbuds, but like your goal was fifteen. So you would need five more earbuds. Yeah. And then you can use like your fundraising money to go out and buy those five more earbuds. So that's what you're gonna kind of like use the money for. Stuff like that. Um. And then. Um, then you actually kind of, like, after that, you actually donate. So, mm -hmm. you have to, like, you have to email them again, find out, like, what day you're going to go and donate, and then you're, you just have to go in there and donate. Mm hmm Once mm -hmm. you get a meet-up time and whatnot, you just go there and can go through the process of donating, which is fairly easy from yeah. the, my understanding. So after you donate, everything is kind of just complete. That's kind of our process. So if you're an organization, you could try to follow those steps because I don't know if we made them clear enough. If they're not that clear, we're, we're going to try to describe it in the description box below. Yeah. And Again, like everything's in the description box. Yeah, and go comment in the comment section if you have any questions. Yeah, so try to keep up with it. Yes. I'll try. I can go. So basically, for our Silver World project, we have to make this sustainable. Oh uh, yeah, so that's what this video is for, is to keep it going. And please, 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 please do this. It's a huge thing to do, but it's a lot of fun. Trust me, it's, it's a lot it's of so fun. It's so much fun. People might think, like, oh yeah, it's just donating. Like, that's not going to be fun. It actually is. It's yeah. It's like if you do it with your friends. Yeah. Or, like, something that you like. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, for instance, the farmer's markets, we're both huge into doing crafts. And mm -hmm. so getting to sell our stuff was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, like, you get to spend a lot of time with people, and you get to, like, help the community. And that's just fun. So Make the world a better place! So we just want to ask <laughs> you, just go out and try to, try to, like, spread this. Like, you can just go and tell a friend, be like, okay. worried about, like, helping and, like, this cause, I guess. Because uh, it, it means a lot to us. Um, and other people out there too. Like they've got all the families that have kids in hospitals. Literally about thousands of kids will go through a hospital each year. And, and a lot of them will get bored because there's not a lot of things to do. So if you help start yeah. donating now, a lot of people will, won't have to suffer boredom. Come on. Yeah. I'm sure you guys even have suffered boredom from time to time. It's, it's just something I've everyone has. <laughs> Yeah. So, we just want you to spread the word. Yep, um, spread the word! Yeah, and so, that is our video. Once again, uh, just, if you have questions, go back in the comment section or check the description box as well. If you want us to do other stuff, tell us. 
y'all have like other things for other fun ideas that you could do for helping out the community because we brainstormed at least like a like at least thirty things. Yeah. So So that is it. Oh, and a little thing real quick, sorry about the lighting. It, we're doing this in the morning, so lighting is bad. We don't have anything yeah. set up, so we don't have any sort of gear to have good lighting, if that makes sense. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is our, also our first video, well, my first video, she's edited before, so this should be really good, hopefully. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, as well as on the note, um, if you're curious why I've been looking all over the place, because we have notes everywhere, you can see some of them on my lap here. We got a poster over here, yeah. and then my phone over here, that is more information. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Sorry about our lack of experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once again, it's our first video, so... We'll try to get better in future videos. <laughs> We're going to be doing so much stuff together, I can already so tell. Much stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you liked our video. And... Bye! bye.